eight click. Okay. English, please. Build a statue of power, build a PAL gear workbench. A ferret dragon looking thing. It actually is pretty cute. Thanks, I'll stop doing that. Pretty cool. So you want to keep your speakers turned on and listen for them because it makes it very easy to find them and feel them in the shield. They're incredibly valuable to have. And once you capture them, put them to work, you will not let them go. So before we go to the next section, I did want to touch on crafting with your house. Build a crusher, build a stone pit, build a lodging site. Okay. Okay. Wait, what did I need? Lodging site, stone pit, and a crusher. Okay, cool. So this is a base option that allows you to take duplicates of your cows and assume them in order to boost the stats of a similar cow. So for instance, let's say you have this premise, and you want to boost this premise's stats. 
you can capture additional codicils from a side, and then consume those to boost your main premise stats. You can use this to boost stats of powerful creatures. Do not sleep on house and condensation because it is super powerful. So let's talk exploring the world a little bit. So Power World is a massive game. It is a huge world to explore. You're going to be doing all of this on cliffs, riding cows, and you can do all of that by taking advantage of some of the fast travel statues that are placed throughout the world as well. And getting around can be very slow at first, but as you unlock mounts of cows, including flying, it gets much, much easier. But let's talk about some of the things you want to be seeing when you're out and about, starting with dungeons. So dungeons are instance areas that can be accessed by looking at these dark pieces throughout the world. They vary in level, the inside you're going to find cows, quite a bit of mining resources, and then it all comes to an end with a boss battle. After you beat the boss, there are two chests containing accessories and items that come with weapons. So accessories are a type of key. They often give you little boosts to things like stand your existence. Schematics are useless. These are kind of a cheat code, so as long as you have these in your inventory, you can craft that item. It still costs the resources, but allows you to craft things you might not look at. And then lastly is tech maintenance. These are considerable items that will give you a technology point to stand up on what you simply need in the tech tree. Now, these dungeons don't have much variety, but have very, very good source of materials. You can find ore, copium, and then once you kill the boss, you'll get some ancient technology parts which can be used in the craft. Now, one of the first things you want to find out in the world outside of dungeons are world bosses. These are boss level areas of cows that you can find in the world. Now, these are often a higher level than the scroll of cows, they typically have more health, and sometimes they'll come in a subspecies, like for instance, an electric version of a Relaxosaurus, which is usually a water cow. So you get some really cool subspecies from the spikes until the bottom of the team. Now, whether or not you capture or kill one of these bosses, they will respawn in one hour and you can take them out again. They're a great source of uh, great materials and it's a really cool way to level up your cows if you need them. Outside of that, in each area, there will also be a tower. Now, towers are tied to the story and they let you challenge boss cows. So, while you can't capture these, they are tough challenges. They do give some great materials, some ancient technology points, and an extra fast travel location. You can challenge these multiple times. This will serve as a progression check. These are always really fun because it sort of lets you explore the story a little bit. You can bring the light here, but towers are cool. You can see them, see them all over the world. Uh, make sure to challenge these. When you go in and try to challenge you fail, that's okay. Just go level up and then go back and try to bring them. Pretty cool. Are we sitting at? Pokemon way. Did everyone leave me? No, Daddy Bear's still sitting here drinking. We got Ninja, Hollywood, Brad, Alan. Oh, you guys are not too boring for you today? I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm getting way too into this game, paying more attention to my game. Merchant out the world who moves around. It's called the Black Market Spirit. He specializes in rare, quote, illegal cows. They're more expensive, but they're much more powerful than the ones you find in other merchants. Like I mentioned, he moves around the world and he'll be found each time, but if you find him, he has some really, really cool cows to look at. So, another big thing out in the world are chests and things. So, chests are found frequently out in the world, they offer gold, materials, ammo. Now, there are locked chests that require certain keys to unlock, and these are pretty, pretty nice. They contain more of the same, but they also drop schematics. So, they're definitely worth checking out. These chests do respawn if you can farm them. So, go back the next day, go knock out all of these chests, and then you can continue to farm those because you can use them. Now, like chests, you also have eggs. These are just as common as chests, and they come in four types normal, large, huge, and massive. And they also come in different elements. So if you find a frozen egg, you're going to get an ice power. If you find a burden egg, you're going to get a grass power, so on and so forth. Now these eggs can be collected and put into incubators and they'll hatch after a certain period of time. Now finding eggs is a great way to collect cows, you might not have access to them. 
This is how I got some really cool fire pals of alarm and the first lines of the phone. Now, the thing about eggs and leaf blowers is that if you put well, thanks, Brad. in elements, that is going to match that egg. So if you have a cold environment and a frozen egg, then they're going to have a much quicker. If you put them into an arid environment that's dry and hot, then they're going to have much slower. So this is just something to keep in mind. Here are neutral sites and analysis. Oh no, guys, I'm getting attacked.